Hi, this is the first demonstration video for Fundamentals of Cybersecurity. So today we'll be going over social engineering attacks. So as you can see here, we have a new email. This is an example of a phishing attack. And so basically what a phishing attack is, is whenever an attacker tries to get you to give them sensitive information like uh, your password, uh, credit card information, and other stuff like that. For this particular attack, this is called a spear phishing attack. And so a spear phishing attack is a phishing attack that is targeted. So for this particular email, they are trying to get me to believe them that my Twitter account has been compromised. So you can see here that they use my name, they use my account information, and they use my workplace to try to get me to believe that they are an authentic source. And so you can see here that they're trying to get me to go to twitter.edu. As you can see here, uh, this Twitter account looks a little bit weird, right? Uh, you can see that everything looks like the normal Twitter, and so here is the normal Twitter page, uh, just as a reference. And so you can see here, here that there are some differences here and there, uh, specifically that right there where it says uh, that this is a demonstration. So with that in mind, this is uh, a server that I set up that kind of showcases what attackers are able to do. Uh, so you can see here that uh, there's some interesting lines right here uh, that kind of maybe give us a little bit of clue what, what might be happening. So let's just see what happens when we try to log in, right? Uh, so my email is bob at gmail.com and uh, my password is uh, password. And so you can see for this demonstration, I actually made the password visible so that you guys can see what the actual password is. And so uh, when I click on this thing right here, nothing is happening, which is weird. Um, so that's not normally the thing we would see. But what's actually happening is that in the back end, we're saving the username and password each time that the user tries to log in. So you can see that the attacker clearly has the ability to use this, to save this uh, user and password information uh, and use this for later exploitation. With that in mind, it's extremely important that, you know, we make sure that the actual URL is correct and that we're not tricked by fake emails. But one of the most important things is that some users won't realize that there's a difference between the Twitter page that they're on. So that's kind of important. So that, that's one of the reasons why we need training is so that people can recognize the differences between what's good and what's bad. But yeah, if you have any questions, uh, email me. It's uh, nsa at tam.edu. And uh, yeah, have a good day.